Welcome to Rick Rack Ruby. I'm Laura Cluvo. Today we'll be making this large holiday cone gnome. It's just a bigger version of the one we made a couple weeks ago. This guy is fun and easy, so let's get started. To make our tall cone gnome, we'll use a 17 inch paper mache cone. This is from Hobby Lobby. A red sweater, a blue or turquoise sweater, two pieces of good quality fur, one is cut two by eight inches, and the other is five inches tall and seven inches wide cut into a triangle. The nap is down toward the point, of course. A pom-pom for the top of the hat. A one inch split ball. These are also from Hobby Lobby. This is wood. This is some cord. Um, it's from Target. It's like Baker's twine, but it's a little bit heavier and it's for gift wrap. It's in the gift wrap department at Target. I'm gonna use the green one. Some holly leaf decorations for the hat and a little bit of blush for the nose. Let's get started. From the back of this blue sweater, I've cut a triangle with a 14 inch base and a 17 inch height. So I will fold this in half with the right sides together and stitch up the slanted side and hope for the best. Here's my sewn piece for the body. And it's important to note that as I approach the bottom, I straightened out my stitches so that my uh, ribbing at the bottom is straight across instead of at an angle. I think it'll be more clear when I trim it. So it's kind of like that. That way I have my ribbing at the bottom is straight across instead of at an angle. We'll turn it right side out and fit it over the cone and hope for the best. Sewing with sweaters or any kind of knits is really fun because they're so forgiving. You know, you can be a little bit off and it'll still work because you can always stretch it to fit. I like this. It fits pretty well. I'm going to get that point a little more pointy. And at the bottom, this ribbing just wrapped right around the bottom here and there's a little extra base, which I'm going to ignore. I'm just going to act like it doesn't even, it's not even there because when you stand it up, it, it's nice. It's not a problem. I'm just going to hot glue this around the base. That looks great. Now let's make the hat. I've cut a triangle from the cashmere sweater, the red, that is eight inches across at the bottom. And this is a very stretchy ribbing and 14 inches tall to the peak. I will fold this in half and stitch up the seam. Now I'll turn it right side out and try it on the cone and hope for the best. I'm using a needle to gently pull out the point. There we go. There's the back seam. I'm going to match up the back seam. I rotate this over a little bit to get the back seams to match up, but besides that, looks great. Now I'll kind of mark the, right here is where I want my beard and my face to go but I'm going to take off that hat so that I don't get any glue on the hat. Remember I cut a couple of pieces of fur, the triangle beard, which I will match up. I like when the fur goes a little bit onto the tabletop and then this piece for the back looks good too. 
I'm going to start by gluing the back center of the hair. I'm going to line that up with the center back seam about like that and I'm going to hot glue it from the center to one side and then the center to the other side. There's one side and then I'll show you how I did that. Just hot glue. Boop. Going to, I'm trying to sort of match them up to the same height. That looks good. And then the triangle, making sure that the fur is down like this. I'm so used to making small things. Um, I know that sometimes the project is out of the frame, but I'll try to remember to keep moving it back to the center. So then the, um, the beard piece is going to be glued at the same height as the sides right there, and the edges of the beard overlap onto the hair, like that. Boop. So I'll apply the glue from the center to one side, just along the top cut edge, and then from the center to the point on the top cut edge in the other direction. And I would say that overlaps about an inch on each side. I forgot to cut my little divot out, so I'm gonna just kind of fold that down a little bit in the center so that I have room for my nose. I try to find a nose that has the smoothest surface and the least amount of wood grain. And then I'm gonna glue it right there, right into the center. And like I say, I kind of tuck that down. Can you see how I made a little semicircle right there? It looks kind of like this. Later on, I'm going to put some blush on the nose so it looks a little bit pink. But for right now, I like this. And then let's pull the hat back on. I like to have a little bit of a fold. See a little fold here? Just a little bit right in the center where it goes over the nose. And then I'm going to pin that. So I've pinned the hat on either side just to establish that little round over the nose. And then I'm making sure that the hat goes over the edge of the beard. And although it may be tempting to want to just glue this whole thing down, that's not the best way to do it. It can be sloppy and frustrating. This is Rick Rack Ruby. This is a <laughs> sewing site. So I think we can sew this. I'm going to start here, then a hand stitch, loop, 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 all the way to here. Then I'll make a couple of stitches right here on the side of the nose, and then I'll go back and secure the thread. And, and then I'll repeat for the second side. I will get a nice, long doubled strand of red quilting thread on my needle starting at the back center making sure that the hat is over the beard and by the way it's easier when you're sewing if you turn it upside down so that your stitches don't get caught as much in the beard so i'm going to go this way does that make sense I'm going to make sure that I can that I'm stitching through all the way through and remember there's some glue there so if I hit the glue with my needle I just kind of try to move the needle so that I'm not going through the glue I only made a line of glue right at the very top edge of the fur so I can pull the hat down over that line of glue and miss it. There's that little triangle edge of the beard right there. See that? So I'm making sure I cover that.
Now I'm right here next to the nose. So I want to get this, um, my needle into the blue and make sure that this stitch sort of pulls down the hat right there. I'll do another maybe one or two stitches like that. And then I'll stitch back to the back. And now I'm back to the center, the center back. So I'll secure my thread. One, two, three, a little French knot and kind of pop it through. There we go. Trim it. And I'll repeat for the second side. This is the only hard part. Everything else is easy. Cue music. There we go, he's looking good. The next thing to do is to decorate the hat. You need one yard of this green and white cord. Just tie it around the brim of the hat, however high or low you want it. It's tempting to want to put it right here where the cuff or the uh, ribbing of the sweater is, but I think that might be a little too high, so I'm going to put it a little bit lower than that. A square knot, and then just a regular bow like you're tying a shoe. I want that to be off center a little bit. And then I'll tie an overhand knot in each streamer. And I'm gonna have a chance to glue this when I glue the holly leaves. I'm going to open out these leaves. Then I'll use my wire cutters to cut this about a quarter of an inch below. Um, where everything's kind of joined together, like just a quarter of an inch of the stem right there. Then I'm going to apply hot glue here and I'm going to slide it under the knot. There we go. That's going to be just about perfect. Now the nose needs a little bit of pink blush. I got this blush at the dollar store, but I have been known to go into my uh, cosmetics and pull something out of there. That's good. Now for the finishing touch, this is really fun to make the mustache. Kind of separate out the sides for the mustache. So I kind of like that. This is nice fur that has, um, you know, different colors in it. So it's it's nice. And and here's my magic secret trick to show you, and that is to use hairspray. And I'm just going to spray a little bit of hairspray onto my fingers, and then kind of twist the mustache like this. And it doesn't take much. A 
final step is just to sew the pom-pom onto the top of the tip of the hat. So I'm going to use white thread and sew this to the tip. When you're sewing on the pom-pom, always make sure that you're going through the center of the pom-pom. All the way through. There's um, a little wire or something in there that holds everything together. So you want to be sure you're going through there. I think that'll do. I'm going to tie off my thread and call this project done. My bulletin board is really filling up. And there's our tall cone gnome right in the middle. Thank you for watching my tutorial. If you're enjoying my videos, please like, share, and subscribe.